rationalize the denominator. In this case, we have a 5 minus square root of 3 in the denominator. So to rationalize that, we'll multiply by 1 in the form of its conjugate here, 5 plus the square root of 3 over 5 plus the square root of 3. Now doing that in the numerator, we'll be left with, in this case we have to distribute, so 10 square root of 3 plus 2 times the square root of 9. Now in the denominator, we have to distribute, so 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times square root of 3 leaves us with plus 5 square root of 3. Negative square root of 3 times 5, we have a negative 5 or minus 5 square root of 3. And then finally, minus the square root of 9. Now simplifying, here in the numerator we have 10 square root of 3 plus 2 times 3. In the denominator we can see 5 square root of 3 and negative 5 square root of 3, well they add to 0. Leaving us with 25 minus 3. And notice at this point there's no more radical in the denominator. Simplifying further we have 10 square root of 3 plus 6 divided by 22. Now at this point I notice that there is a GCF in the numerator and that is 2. If we factor that out it'll then cancel with a 2 in the denominator. Factoring a 2 out of the numerator, we'll be left with 5 square root of 3 plus 3. And then finally, dividing out a 2, we'll be left with a factor of 11 in the denominator. So this equals 5 square root of 3 plus 3 divided by 11.